nine financial hacks that you cannot miss. Okay. Have you feel that the money is not enough every month? Or that if you, even though you are working nine to five every day, achieving the objective of your manager, of your company, you don't have um, financial freedom? So how we can feel um, calm, we can feel relief that the money is enough every month? I have been there for many times without finding any solutions. But until I realized that there is some financial hacks that I can use to be in a better place. So if you are ready, um, we can start to review these financial hacks that is gonna help you to start your new life. So um, I gonna list it that we gonna review in the following video and it's gonna be budgeting, emergency fund, diversity investment, life beyond your means, avoid bad debt, regular financial review, prioritizing retirement saving, stay informed and seek expert advice. So um, it's gonna be nine um, hacks and the last one is the more obvious. But before with that we started, I gonna introduce myself for the people that's new in the channel. My name is Veronica, I'm a chemical engineer with years of experience in the corporate work, work in a large company in different countries. Through my career, I have learned valuable lessons about success, about spirituality, and how to create abundance in all areas of your life. And in these channels, I want to share with you my knowledge, my experience, to help you achieve your personal and spiritual goals. And you wanna find practical advice, deep reflection and tools to improve your life in all aspects. So I firmly believe that the personal and in the spiritual development are fundamental to achieve true abundance and fulfillment. Okay, so let's start it. The, the first, uh, top financial tips that we mentioned before and it's very important is budgeting. You have to track your expenses and set a budget for your month. That is going to be very important if you if you have every month 1000 or 10000 or 100. And here we have two explanations for this one. First one if you cannot manage 1,000, you cannot gonna be able to have 10,000. So we have to learn how to manage a little amount to be able to manage a huge amount. Because when you, we have more money, we can have more power. And this is gonna have more responsibility. And if you are not responsible enough, it's difficult that life abundance is gonna give you more for you. Okay, emergency fund. This is something that we need to cover. We have the, the statistic and the peer people that is um, expert in the financial area. They recommend between three and nine months of saving if something happens. For example, if um, you start working, if you have a, um, some um, uh, you get sick, right? Or someone in your family cannot give you the every month money, right? If you are living with someone or with more than one people. So you have some saving that is going to help you to move through this difficult moment, okay? Diversity investment. It's very important that beside of our income every month, and we mentioned in the video that we have the last week, how we can have this different investment. Can be the classic investment, like real estate, can be something uh, more trendy right now, more pure popular, NFT, but you have to learn about it. I really encourage to people that go to NFT, but you have to learn about it. I have some investment in NFT. I'm new in NFT, like two or three months. So I have a coaching that helped me to take good decisions, but if you don't have the chance, try to join this group 
in Facebook and Instagram. Follow some people that are experts and be safe because there's many people that uh, can scam you and, and NFT too. So be aware of that. The other point is about um, live uh, below your means. That means that depending how much you earn, you have to save some money of that if you want to be able to have some freedom because this saving money is going to lead you to invest in something else and you want to be able to have a new income. So maybe for a time, you want to have to be able to don't, don't spend all your money until you have enough income, right? To be able to expense in things that you really want and you 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 want to do it right have a, a new car have a, a better house traveling right any any hobby that you want to do the other things that we mentioned before and is something that you have to do it is avoid bad bad debt sometimes we get a struggle and we take difficult um we don't take good decision right so we um, got this loan from um, credit card from the bank that have very high interest and that is bad credit because you want to pay more for the interest for the rate that the, the installment itself so my advice i'm not the expert in financial i have been have a lot of loan in my life is uh, try to, if you have many in different places, try to put one in one place with one bank and, and pay some installment that you can pay every month. Don't go with some installment that you thought you want to be able. Otherwise, it's going to be, again, you're going to ask a new loan to pay this loan, right? And you're going to have two loans. So no, you have to, and I'm going to be very Stricted about it because I, I have experience to ask for loan and I have experience with uh, working house at work. So no, you have to put all the debt in one place and have just one rate and working with this installment that you can pay and you have to stop spending on something that you don't need. I know sometimes it's difficult because we want something new. We want to traveling, we want to go out. We can do that, but when we have more money. You can traveling, but according to budget, okay? This, the point number six is about, um, we have to review our regular financial, uh, regular financial status. We have to review how much we are spending, if we have to pay something more, the tax council, uh, our income, if we have a new income, if we are getting a new passive income, if we are creating a new income, if we are creating a new debt, everything you have to track because you want to need to be able to know what is going to happen for you in the future. You have to save money. Prioritize to retirement saving. Um, we don't want to be young forever, right? And we're gonna need money when we don't have the the health to work a long hours when we don't have the same option that we have when we have we are in the best part of our life to work and have higher position or to have better position, right? So prioritize retirement saving. A same form is very important that you learn more about financial. Some this is crucial. Nobody know told us. They don't teach us at the school, and even in me that I was at the uni, uh, two times I have to pay for that, for some um, coaching, because it's not something that um, is is part of any education. So you have to learn, find a way to learn, even basic things. You have to learn about rates, about credit card, about loan about what happened with the market trend if you are going to be part of the nft of the um, stock market what happened with the houses what is the best price to buy what is the best time to buy when you can sell your house right so 
all that matter. Don't lose your money because it's really difficult to have money. And my last point, point if you have the chance, seek for an expert. If you don't have money, seek for information. You can ask to chat GTP, ask to Google, um, follow some expert and, and Twitter and Instagram and Facebook and YouTube. Any place is free. So don't overestimate the information. You need the information to take good decision. That is a mandatory. So if you like this video, if you like the content, give me a like. If you like this channel, subscribe. And um, it's very beneficial for you that you have more information every once in a while about how you want to be your financial. And I can be your reminder that and I push you what you have to do to, to be able to be abundance and be financial, have a financial freedom because we want to work in something that we really like, right? Not in something that we don't enjoy. The life is too short, okay? So share knowledge, share information, and let's make a community.